Hello everyone, this is Lydia. I want to do a quick demonstration of how to do a print and cut sticker. Uh, this will show you the basics of how to do print and cut and uh, stickers are a real popular project that people like to do for party favors and things like that. So uh, we'll start with putting in a background and so I'll go to the shapes and insert a circle. That'll be my background for my sticker. And I'm using a Cricut Explore, and so um, I will be using a um, white material. And I so I'm going to make my background white. I could I could choose another color, and the printer would print that color, but I just want it to be white. So um, I will just pick the white today, and then I will uh, adjust the size. Um, print and Cut uses eight and a half by eleven material. And I know that if I do a three inch diameter circle, I can get six of these on a page. So that's what I'm going to do. And so I need something to go on my sticker. I could use text or uh, what I decided to do today is to use an image. So I'm gonna make this a little thank you sticker. All I need to do is size that to fit. pretty good and right so I'll hit select all that selects all these layers that are here in my layers panel and uh, first thing I'm going to do is align go to align and hit center and it'll uh, get it exactly perfect for me and while everything is still selected you can see here on the screen and in the layers panel it's a darker gray and here in the layers panel um, everything is still selected so I'm, that can hit flatten and you can see this has made everything one layer for the, your printer to print and your Cricut to cut you can see the printer icon is grayed out you can't change it because it's been flattened and then uh, the color dot is uh, strike has a strike through through it um, because you can't change it once it's been flattened so all you need to do now is hit make it and you'll probably notice the black box that is around your image and uh, a lot of people get tripped up here because they think oh i don't want it to cut a square um, it's not going to cut a square all this is is the registration marks that the cricut uses to know where to cut so once i put this on my mat and load it in by cricut it will scan these marks and by scanning those marks it knows where to cut it knows that it needs to cut a circle around my image so i'm going to put six of these on here and hit apply and that fits just beautifully in uh on an eight and a half by eleven but let's say i needed eight i could just use the arrows uh, on my project copies and hit apply and it would automatically go to a second uh, sheet of paper and a second mat. Uh, but uh, I don't need that many today, so I'm just going to back, back it up to six. And I'll hit continue. And I'll find my Cricut. And I'm ready to send it to the printer. And it finds my printer. printed and cut and now I'm ready to take these off the mat. And they all are all done very easy. Thanks for listening.